Hi, um, I'm Susan Johnson, and uh, this is Grant Johnson. We are the founders of Horizons Unlimited, which is a website for overland adventure travelers. Our tagline is inspiration, information, and connection. So it's all about inspiring a traveler to think, oh, gee, can I do this? Yes, you can do this. You can get out there and go a lot farther than you might think. And how do you do that? Well, you need information, okay? We have a lot of information. A lot of travelers, a lot of people have done something already and they pass on the information. So the experienced travelers help teach the newbies how to do it and what they need to know. And that's part of the connection. And once they hit the road, we have a lot of connection. There are Horizons Unlimited communities, 750 I think at last count, in cities around the world. So you could arrive in a little tiny town in South America and write an email to the community there and say, hey, I've got a flat tire, where do I get it fixed? and all of a sudden there'll be five of them out there with the local TV crew and they'll say welcome to our little town we'll help you fix it up we'll find a place for you to stay and by the way our TV crew wants to interview you for the local television you know, where else would you get that so it's amazing connecting well when we actually I should say about how we first met yes we our oh. first date she <laughs> said to me well what do you want to do I said well I want to ride around the world on a motorcycle and Susan said I've never been on a motorcycle so but you know, I want to travel, so. <laughs> so three years later, we were on the road. We hit the road in 1987 on our BMW motorcycle, and it took us 11 years to finish our trip. We've only been to about 50 countries so far. Um, we, we, as Grant said, we took 11 years to, to finish the initial trip because we travel very slowly. So uh, we literally, you know, nine months just to get from Vancouver down to Panama, which is not really that long a distance. Uh, but we l discovered that we really loved the traveling and that we would just keep doing it as long as we could. So uh, when we finished with our trip, it was important to us that we kind of inspired other people to also do that. Yeah, our traveling has been on motorcycles, but everywhere we've gone, we've been amazed at the number of motorhomes and four-wheel drives and, and big fancy four-wheel drives that we've seen. South Africa, middle of Africa, Kenya, Tanzania. Wow, there's all kinds of them. South America, there's a lot of people in four-wheel drives and small motorhomes mm -hmm. doing South America. There's a lot of people that start in Alaska at Prudhoe Bay and drive all the way down, and you can do it, all the way to the top bottom of South America. That's a huge trip. People spend two, three years doing it, or do it in six months. You know, there's, there's a lot of variety and a lot of choices you can do and a lot of ways you can do it. And it's all easy. There's nothing hard about it. The east coast of Africa. There's nothing complicated about that. Mm -hmm. You want to drive from the UK to Australia, it's all doable. There's a couple of spots you have to take a boat around, but it's not a problem. Yeah. There's nothing complicated about it. So I think the important thing to realize is that you can go just about anywhere you want to go, and it doesn't matter what you're driving, mm -hmm. riding, it's all doable. In fact, the, the reality is that you can go around the world on paved roads. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, we pretty much did because we were two up on, on a bike, so we weren't looking for bad roads. We were looking for the best roads we could find, and yeah. pretty much there's paved roads all the way through all of the world. Yeah, um, a lot of the sections that we did that were really bad dirt in 1997 and 87, they're paved now. Mm -hmm. It's great. You can go from Kenya all the way to South Africa through Namibia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, uh, into South Africa, and it's paved all the way. And it's great, it's beautiful, fantastic places to see. Yeah. South America, you can go all the way to Ushuaia on pavement. And if I'm honest, as I get older, the idea of actually having a bed to sleep on you know, every, <laughs> every night and, you know, my, and a kettle and a microwave and all that would be really good. <laughs> so maybe our next vehicle will we'll be a motorhome. We're, we're thinking about that, yeah. <laughs>